Asia, fried fried shrimp is not coverage 100 percent yet. Okay, so on top of this one, we can see the infrastructures or the agriculture or the architecture of the technology is somehow is coming in to ready, and same happened to human behavior. Okay, today when you go out there, you can see everyone, everyone, they have smartphone, and all of this everyone who have smartphone. They will have e wallet. Okay? If let's say you go in into a shop and you're asking them, I want to pay with e wallet, and they say, Sorry, we cannot, we don't have e wallet, we don't have, uh, you cannot swipe your credit card here. So eventually, this shop, it will automatically, slowly and slowly, it will be replacing by the other people. Okay? So uh, I'm, I'm not familiar in how the uh, business running in uh, Borneo, but in Smanajung, Malaysia, if let's say we go into a shop without this e-wallet or without any credit card so that we can swap, then slowly the shop will, uh, will not go. I mean, okay. So you can see the behavior of people, they are want to change. Okay, I already get used with, without notes. Okay, I go out, I just bring either my phone, okay, or my mask and also my this one, just card holder, okay, without cash. I bring cash, 50 ringgit over here, just in case because I'm not sure on how the culture happened around uh, in Gucci, so that I bring some cash, okay. So, same thing happened, okay, we want to know how people behave so that we can tackle them, okay. So the way that for us to tackle them is we can go through each five, uh, five forces. So the first one is data. Okay. So when we talk about data, we always focus on user data. Okay. You know how Facebook or social media or even Google they can tackle you so well is because of your data, your browsing history all across the internet. Okay. Because you sign up your uh, you sign in with your account and also you use that account to do something. Okay, so when you do something, you leave a lot of digital footprint. Okay, for Google and Facebook, they always track us, and after that, they will bump us with the uh, the right advertisement. They so called they study us. Okay, they study us because they want to give us the right advertisement so that we can buy the right product, so that they can have creating the they can close the sale. Okay, same things happen when we come back in. Malaysia, okay, because that has happened in uh, the, the technology, the Google or Facebook itself, it's happened in uh, US, but in Malaysia, how are we going to use this data? Okay, so if let's say you're running a business, okay, you will have a POS system, okay, so the POS system is like a customer page, and after that, you will key in, uh, you will scan the barcode and key in everything, and uh, do the payment. Okay, so the POS system normally it will come together with a uh, customer system. So if let's say you don't have that, remember to, uh, to call your uh, vendors when we provide to you on this POS system. Ask you because right now customer data is just like free. Why? I, I, what, what I mean free is uh, customer will definitely sign up with you. Okay, you just ask for phone number. Don't ask much. Ask for phone number because everyone eventually they will not change their phone number. Okay, I use my phone numbers for about twenty years. Okay, so if let's say I, I believe most of the people will be like me, except some I don't know uh, some guy they will always change their phone number very frequently. I don't know what for reason. Okay, but if let's say during the customers' uh, registration you just ask for phone numbers, you don't ask much. Why? Because you don't need that. Okay, phone number will be a very unique number so that you can trace them. So with tracing them, you know how much or any time that they purchase from your shop alone, just from your shop. Okay, if from that side, if let's say your company today we decided to grow, we decided to happen to open another branches. Okay, so you would like to run some promotions, some marketing plan. So from that side you can first target your loyalty customer who ever purchased from you okay so from there you know what is this customer used to buy okay the very bad advertisement is like i buy a and they keep asking me to buy b okay i don't like something about b but it keep asking me buy b so that is a bad advertisement 
Okay? So the good advertisement is I buy A and they will ask me to buy A1, A2 or A3. Okay? So if let's say you are running as a, your marketers within your company, you, you need to know what kind of behavior or products that the customer used to buy so that you can tackle them correctly. Okay? So that's the reason why data is always very important over here. Second, mobile. Okay? The mobile is about, you see, everyone has a smartphone. Okay? We can go around without a tablet, without a laptop, but we cannot go around without a smartphone. Okay? So there's a lot of companies, when they want to have their website, they will always tackle for mobile app. Okay? But, but, but it doesn't mean mobile app is the best, you know. Okay? You have budget, doesn't mean that you have to spend your budget in mobile app. Why? Because if let's say your company is just like let people to browsing the information, there's no need for mobile app. A website is good enough. But make sure that you make your website to be very responsive so that when it's squished into mobile sites, everyone can see it correctly. They will have the same experience with the website. Okay? So I, I believe this would not be an issue. Uh, for any website developer right now because back in 10 years ago uh, they are still facing difficulties to squeezing the size squeezing the size for a website to a tablet to a mobile phone okay but now should, shouldn't be a problem so okay I also found out that some of the companies when they have budget they always like to do a mobile app okay and some of these mobile apps they are just like information only. Okay? If let's say you have the reason behind of this mobile app, for example, you can let customer to lock it. Okay? And they can check their purchase history. Eventually they can also purchase it from your app. Then that is good enough. Okay? They have to do something from the customer point of view, they have to do something in the mobile in the mobile app. So with that reason you create mobile app for them. Okay? If you don't have the system, you don't have a customer system, you don't have anything to engage your customers, so there's no need for mobile. Okay? You can just go with the mobile phone. And uh, for SM, SME, okay, in order to save your budget, if let's say you are selling things online, you better just register with Lazada or Shopee. Uh, if not, not I mean, I'm not encouraging you to come up with a new brand like uh, your own product only to create the mobile uh, apps. Okay? So because you, if let's say you are a, uh, a clone factory, okay? You want to come up with your own brand of clothes. So you can just sell online without the mobile app, okay? You don't want to become one of the marketplace that go in uh, Starting with the good, but end with the bad things. Okay, why? Because everyone, okay, on top of this one, you have to understand, everyone don't like to change. Okay, they already get familiar with Lazada and Shopee, and if let's say you are running something that is the third, third party, like uh, Lazada and Shopee, okay, and then they will not really sign in. I mean, you have to spend a lot. You have to spend your time, you have to spend your uh, resources, your budget, so that you can push this thing out. Okay? If you're not targeting on that, if you don't have the, the resources, okay, might as well you just go in and just be normal and uh, register under this. Okay? So that you can run your business. Okay? So if let's say you're small, you don't go out that fast first. Okay? Uh, the third thing is the social media. Okay? Everyone, eventually, every company in Malaysia, okay, uh, big company or small companies, they should have social media account. Why? Because people like to complain, okay. And aside of the complaint, okay, from the cast, from the shop itself, okay, you have to uh, keep on tell the customers, okay, engage with them, regardless if you are selling something about your company or you are selling some ideas behind your company. Okay, just skip at least a post a day. Okay, why a post a day? Because the social media algorithm that doesn't play very well because they are also a company. Everyone uses it for free. So what they, they earn? Okay, they earn from the advertisement. And somehow you don't want to pay the advertisement fee. Okay, so how you can do? Just make your post more. 
Okay? Because uh, as according to Facebook algorithm, the algorithm is a system behind it's run on this Facebook. So if let's say you are posting something, people who like or follow your page, not everyone can see. Okay? If let's say you are posting a video, only 30% of the people who used to like and follow your page can see. So if you are less than that, if let's say you are posting a picture or a word only, then it will be lesser. Okay? So the only way for you to do is keep on posting, regardless if people see or not see. Okay? So that's also one of the ways to tackle the Malaysian because Malaysian always use Facebook and Instagram. Okay? Same today, TikTok is growing. If let's say you want to run a business on TikTok also, it's also encouraging. Okay? Okay, the fourth, census. Census doesn't uh, really mean to a lot of business. Okay? It means to a uh, growing company who are really go into the technology. Okay, if let's say you are running a physical shop, what sensor you need? Okay, you might want to have a motion sensor. Why motion sensor? Because motion sensor can tell you how many customers go into your shop. Okay, now I'm telling you a scenario. If let's say you are running a business, a physical shop, and you install motion sensors to count how many people come into your shop, okay, place it in the door. And then, in the end of the day, when you close the sales, okay, the POS system, then you will close sales, then you can know, okay, how many, how many sales have been obtained today. So if let's say, today you have 300 transactions, but then the people who walk in is 1,000, okay, so you know something, what things you know, okay, you know people come in your shop, but they don't buy, okay, so you should know what is the reason. Is it something, is it about because of your product is very expensive or because they don't like the way that you promote or they are just like come in to enjoy the aircon, okay? You need to know all these reasons because you don't run the business just for the charity, okay? You run the business to make the money to sustain you, sustain the business, okay? So uh, this is one of the examples of sensors that can be implemented in a lot of physical shops, okay? So if let's say you install these sensors, what you need? You need internet connections, okay? You need the system to trace the entire everything, okay? So this can be do it very easily by implementing an IoT. Do you ever heard internet of things? Okay, why internet compass, not thing compass? Okay, why internet of things? Why not thing of internet? Tau, kenapa, kenapa? Okay, because internet is the main thing of the, is of this entire system. Okay, so you see, without the internet, the thing is just the thing. Okay, so there's a reason why our government is also keep on asking of this IR four IR four point oh. Okay, with the IR four point oh, then only they can force the entire the the, the manufacturing or the big companies. To moving forward. The big companies not moving forward, how about the SME? Okay? If big companies don't move forward, the S or the M will not move forward. Okay? So that's a reason why you see today uh, our government is still pushing and asking this telco company to sign up for this 5G. Okay? So if they move into 5G, then the coverage for 4G or 3G across the entire Malaysia will be more uh, perfect. Okay? So, another one, the locations. Okay, a lot of apps, they don't face locations. Okay? And if, let's say, your company is really running very big, okay, then you should trace locations. Why tracing location is important? Because, uh, first of all, okay, uh, the security. A lot of things people always misunderstand about the security is that a lot of this uh, uh, what else? The, the misuse of this internet and uh, the, the misuse of the e-wallet is about this security. Okay? The, the, your security, your e-wallet can be used, misused by the others people because of these locations. Example. 
If let's say today, I am in Kuching, okay, but my credit card is being swapped in Semenanjung, Semenanjung Malaysia. So that means something already misused my uh, credit card. Okay, same things happen if let's say your application is swapped in the other's area. Okay, and if let's say this area is outside where you always go to, then it will become one of the uh, tracing for you to telling the truth that you are not the one who use these things. Okay, so uh, security will be mean in, as, as, sorry, the location will be mean in uh, the mobile. Okay, so that's the only one uh, things that's needed for this one. Okay. So from here we can see uh, today in Malaysia, the academic science uh, Malaysia is already keep on pushing on this STEM technology. So this STEM technology is actually very small. Uh, the first one is 5G. The second one is the sensors. Okay, forget about this. Okay, so all this STEM technology is actually something that is really mean in changing in different uh, different field. Okay, if let's say today you want to focus on different uh, industry, you should go into the technology that is related to that industry. Okay, so all the technology is there. I mean, uh, technology is not that. Okay, but for business people, when you go in, the technology is there. Okay, I mean that is like you are the one who can puzzle everything. Okay, if let's say uh, you are thinking you are you, you have an idea of your business, okay, and you want to start with it, okay, so you don't know what kind of technology that you can implement, you can try and error. Okay, you can try with all these 10 listed uh, technology, and then after that you try to understand what kind of technology that can be really used. For example, factory. Do you really need a 5G if, let's say, you are just running a business online only? Okay? Uh, yes and no. Okay? If, let's say, you are running a business where you need a real time. You need a real time. Real time means there's no lagging. Okay? You need the real time at the moment. Then you need a 5G. If, let's say, you are just running something where uh, it's still smooth and with internet connections, already okay, then you no need to go in 5G, okay? So the second will be the sensors. Yeah, let's not talk about the sensors. So if let's say physically, the shop need the sensors, then you should look after uh, what kind of sensors that is need, okay? In this world, there's a lot of different sensors where you can use it to make your business better, okay? All the technology is just to facilitate you to run the business, okay? Remember. If let's say you are from technology background, then the, then the technology will be something that you are using it to earn the money. If let's say you are not selling the technology, then the technology is something that you use it to facilitate your business. Okay? You, you don't uh, make, wrong, make wrong arrangement, you know. If let's say the arrangement is wrong, then your focus will be wrong. Okay? You need to know what is the things that you want to make. I mean, you want to sell. You are your your company is making money by selling what? Then you should focus on what? Okay. The other technology is just to make the process of you selling that thing to be smooth. Okay. I can't really remember. <laughs> okay. But then, if let's say focusing in agriculture. Then uh, we can go into the different technology over here. So the first one, uh, I name it as automated process. This automated process is they come together with three different technology. First, computing power. Second, the 5G, and also the last one with the uh, drone. Okay, why this one? First, why computational power? Uh, because we want to let the okay. From your perspective, I think we should go in from the drone first. Okay, how drone can be used? You know, behind that's a drone. Okay, do you ever ask them how they can use the drone to make business? No, no. Okay, okay. For normal people, <laughs> for normal people like me, eh, back in four or five years ago, 
when drone is launching, I bought one, DJI. And now, where I keep? In my house. <laughs> keep only. Okay, why? Because I fly, 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 and langa, langa, poco. Okay? Then, if I, let's say I send it for a repair, it asks me for 2K. Might as well buy a new one. Okay? So, I just activate it. So, during that time, the drone is very new. Okay? But today, the drone is very normal. Okay? And today, you see, the drone is very big. So, the big drone is not mean to like bring people up. Uh, okay? The drone is do something to represent human. Okay? The, the one that we see is our sign. Okay? We can only see something like this one. Okay? But if let's say you are involving in a big scale okay, of the farm, especially uh, a big scale farm, so a uh, bird view is very important. There's a reason why drones come in for agriculture. Okay? So the start of like this one, you see, the, the drone is like uh, spraying the water. Okay? So they can use drone to represent the uh, the water water that normally being watering by the uh, farmers. Okay? So aside of this one, there's a lot of different technology that can help the farmers to water the plants. Either they put a farm underground, go up, spray, okay, or you use a drone, okay, you see which one that will be convenient for you. Okay? You have to find a way that is easy for your business to make. So that and also save budget. Okay? As a business person, we don't go because of the trendy of the technology. We go of the trendy technology because that technology can help us to solve a problem. Okay, you know, solving a problem is very critical and it's very needed. Why? Because ah, okay, sorry, go back here. Uh, the drone. Okay, so we can see drone can be flying around and can have a bird, bird view. Okay, the bird view can help us to allocate where is the problem or which part that is need for us to, to do more watering. Okay, because as in, uh, if let's say the, the, the land is very big, then the coverage is not 100% completely. Okay, then the drone will be flying around and then they will capture the pictures. When they capture the pictures, they can see the difference. Why here more dark color? Why here more green color? Then we can see why here more brown color. Okay? The slightly of the change of the colors, how I cannot see. It's about a pixel. Okay? But then we need computer to tell, tell us what is the difference of these places. Okay? So from that side, we need the computational power. So from the computational power, they can tell us, okay, this area wasn't uh, watering for how many days, something like that. Okay, then the, the, then the drone itself, it will need to fly to that area to water the plants. Okay, that's a big size up. Okay, and same, if let's say, today you can still see human is like playing the drone, okay. Uh, some of these uh, farmers, who are in Malaysia, they already use drone and they are self-controlled. They self-control, they fly manually. Okay? But today, because of the technology, they can fly just with the computer. Okay? The drone itself, you can just fly over, do everything done, come back itself. Okay? So there's a reason why we need a 5G to step in. That is the most advanced technology, but it's still not implemented in Malaysia yet. Okay? But in overseas, they already implemented this kind of technology. And uh, because most in Malaysia, our our business is still in SME, and most of the people doesn't have that big size of the land that need this kind of technology. So that's the reason why we are still very behind. And this automated process can help us to see and uh, save more courses because they can make your uh, the farming to be much more easier and more precise. Okay, so smart devices. Smart devices would be also one of the things that could always attract people into agriculture. Okay? Yeah, the first thing when I go into agriculture is about these smart devices. Why? Because you, have, you can see it's very advantage of this robotic arm that can help us to do this and that. 
But then, when we come into today's, uh, most of our Malaysia farm is still hand picking. Okay, but in but then, if let's say compared to uh, Australia, some of these Australian farm, a big size farm, they are already using machine picking. They use the machine to auto sense the products. Uh, I mean the crops to see the fruits whether it's already ready to be harvested or not ready to be harvested, and then the arm will pick the fruit. Okay, so from that side you can see it's not just about the smart devices as in the hardware, but then it needs the camera to capture and then they need the behind of the computer to do the image processing. After they process everything, then they can say, yes, this apple is already matured, you can pick. And then the arm will pick. Okay? Typically just as a human, when we are growing some uh, vegetables. Okay, you will tell yourself, okay, this is ready to harvest, or this is not ready to harvest. Okay, because our eye, our brain will process everything. But for this arm, arm alone doesn't have a brain. So we need the camera to be the brain, and then uh, we need the camera to capture, to tell the actual scenario, and then we need the brain, the computer behind, to tell, okay, after they process this, yes. This is ready to be housed, then only they can pick. Okay? So, this is the things behind of all the computers AI and machine learning. Okay? AI stands for artificial intelligence and machine learning ML. Okay? So, uh, machine learning is part of AI. Okay? AI is not part of machine learning. Why machine learning is part of AI? Because AI is artificial intelligence. It's a man-made, man-made intelligence. Okay, man-made intelligence. They have different way to do things. Okay, one of the thing is machine learning. So machine learning is like uh, the computer itself is just like a baby, a growing baby. You don't don't know what is what. Okay, so you will give the baby. You tell the baby. Okay, baby, this is orange. Orange is. Okay, this is the shape of orange. They will give orange to the baby. Then baby will see. Okay, this is uh, orange in color. Okay, and then this is like a ball. Okay, they know. Okay, this is orange. Next time, you give baby an apple. You tell baby this is orange. Okay, baby say this is fifty percent like an orange. Okay, why? Because it's, the color is different. The shape is just almost the same okay it's almost the same but not it's 100 percent the same okay but then the baby will for sure baby will not tell you this is uh not this is not an apple eh, sorry this is an apple this is an orange okay baby will not tell you but then in computer because it's already being processed then the computer will tell you this is only 40 percent like orange so there's a reason why when we see a lot of uh, a lot of computer when they're processing something by like image processing or sentiment processing. Sentiment processing is your your personal emotional. Okay, so after they capture us, they tell us, okay, this uh, shot is very happy today. Okay, so somehow this can be something that it can be implemented in your company to capture how is the customer going in and going out the difference. Okay, so come back to here. If let's say machine learning, uh, when they process, they will they will based on the data. Okay, so as much the data that you give to the machine learning, then the precise it will be. Okay, so if let's say you give baby ten orange, and after that you give baby apple, baby will say this is not an orange. Okay, same happen to this machine learning. If after that you tell, you give orange, after you, you put 10 data of orange to the machine, and then the machine will tell, okay, okay, they already captured, they already study, they learned everything, and then when, they, when you give another apple for the machine, that machine will tell, this is only 10%. It's not like previous 40%. Why? Because the machine already know. Very confident, this is not an apple. But somehow, it's still a little bit similar in order, so in the shape. So they will just give you the 
Okay? So, as the much of the data that I give to this machine, then the machine will be much more accurate. So, when we come back to this agriculture, understand all the technology, yeah? Okay, understand all the technology, then we come into this agriculture, then we want to know how the uh, different kind of variables that is needed for this agriculture. Okay, if let's say you plant, or during our primary school we learned, if you want to grow a plant, what we need? We need sun, we need water, we need soil. Okay, what else we need? Uh, seed, yeah, we need seed. Okay, seed is the, the one that can grow up, right? Okay, so why we need sun? Because sun provides the energy. Why we need water? Because water needs to be they are hydric to the plant. Okay, why we need soil? Because soil provides mineral. Okay, so on top of this one, we need we can understand because we already been taught this is actually why we know all these four things because we already study and who discovered this? The, the, our ancestors who do all this science thing and they study on these things then they know or oh, this is the principle in growing the plants so for us if we want to make the process easier because we already know the, the principle behind of all these things right so we, we will implement all this capturing on all these variables into the technology so we can represent the human because we human we have our mind our mind will auto process all these things okay so after we auto process all these things then only we can say, okay, this plant is ready to be harvested. Based on what? Oh, because this plant grow outside, huh? every day grow outside. So, and also it's already big enough, right? So if it is big enough, then okay, we can harvest. But computer don't know, okay? Computer is just a dead thing where he don't know all these principles. So if let's say we implement the, 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 the principle into the computer, okay? And then the computer will capture it slowly, and then they will based on the data that is given then they will tell they will make their own uh, decisions whether the plants is ready to be housed or not ready to be housed okay so same things happen over here to the data applications and a lot of uh, a lot of farms out there they are doing the data applications manually okay what i mean manually is like they know, okay, uh, of this, huh? a moment. they know all these things, okay, okay, after they know all these things, they will do the captures by themselves. Uh, I, I do visit one of the farm in Cameron Highland, they are doing hydroponic. Hydroponic is like they farm in water. When they farm in the water as a medium, then they need to make sure that the water is something that is suitable for the plants to grow. So what they do manually, they, they take the pH meter, okay, the, the one that you can buy from uh, Shopee and Lazada, they do the test manually. Okay, after they do the test, they write down. After they write down, they will do, go to their water tank to control the nutrients in the water tank. Okay, so why pH meter is very, uh, sorry, why pH is very important for hydroponic is because, you know, we, we drink water. Okay, when you sick, doctor asks you to drink water. Okay, right? Doctor will not ask you to drink more orange juice, right? Doctor will ask you to drink water, drink warm water. Why? Because our human, our blood is running. Okay, the things that make us as a living thing is our blood bring around all the oxygen or any nutrients around our body. Okay, so in order to let the oxygen and let the, our blood running smooth, we need water, okay? So same things happen to the plants. The plants need water, okay? The right nutrients, right pH of the water can make the plants uh, growing well, growing with the optimum sizes, okay? Uh, oh, this is one of the things that shared by these uh, farmers in Cameron Island, is it? If let's say you, you soak you soak the the root in the water and then it's kind of like a uh, you you ask a, a kid and then every day you give the kids to eat. Every day you give the kids to eat. 
and the kids only sit down and eat only. Okay? So what happens when the kids sit down and eat only? They will fat, but then they will not grow in. Why fat and not grow in? Uh, it will be uh, fat and not raw. Okay? Why? Because they just they, they did not spend the, the energy inside the body. Okay? So that's not the right thing. If let's say you want to run a hydro body, you need to let the root to go in. Okay? How you let the root to grow is you let the water to flow. Okay? You let the water to flow and then the root will grow, will, will go through and captures the nutrients inside the water. So there's a secret behind of uh, this hydroponic. If you uh, if you understand on hydroponic, there's different uh, technology. They have uh, something that you can some if let's say for example uh, typically if you want to plant a uh, vegetable you plant on soil. Okay? You plant on soil and then you water. Okay? So the root is something like You see my hand? Okay? The root is something like this one. Okay? So, if let's say you are watering something, then the water will go, go to the down. Okay? After you, after you water, then water will go down. And then the root will go and chase the water. Same principle happen in hydroponics. Okay? This is, the, this is a principle, a nature principle. But then a lot of farmers, they don't understand these things. Okay? So they... they some of this is not created, some of the technology is not created by the farmers. So they will just make the system. So one of the system is that uh, they do the hydroponic and let the water, let the root to soak inside the water only. So if you let the root to soak inside the water, then the root is not growing. They will not grow up. You can see it's bigger, but then it will not long. Okay? And then since it will happen, it happened to be it will reflect directly on the plants so that the plant is not growing down. Okay? So, if let's say, I come back to here, the, the data. If let's say the farmer is not doing different experiments, then they will don't know what is the secret behind of all these things. Okay? So, the farmers always spend their own money. I mean, spend their time, spend their own money in doing experiments how to make the farm bigger. See, I have one acre of land, okay? But my one acre of land, with this method of farming, I can only have a one ton production. But if let's say I change different way to farm, I can might have two tons or three tons, okay? So which one that you prefer? One ton, two ton, or three ton? Okay? Bigger is better, alright? Because our money is made by all these crops. Okay, the only way for them to make money is selling the crops. If let's say their crop is small, then happier they are. Okay, so they always run in different way in making this. Uh, they, they they will get this data by themselves. Okay, they always uh, captures manually. But then today, because of we have the technology, it actually can be running everything by the ourselves. Okay. So another one is like genomic. This is more on the biology. Uh, in terms of biology, they can always have these gene modifications. Uh, some people say gene modifications, uh, the products with gene modification is not healthy to be consumed. Okay? Uh, I have different rumors around. Okay, they will say all these kind of things. But then when we are really going and studying, Actually, what we are actually we are eating a lot of gene modifications product. The first one, jargon. Okay, jargon is the end product of gene modifications. Okay, so if let's say you are, you are keep on hearing people tell you, okay, my my vegetable is grow organically and it's not uh, GMO gene modifications, then. Uh, you see, if let's say they are selling jargon as well, that is 100% GMO. Okay? So, uh, scientists discover gene modifications can help the plants to be bigger. They, they will put in some different genes, go into the DNA of the plant, so that the plants can, in the same uh, environment, they can be a bigger size. 
So because we cannot control the time, okay? This is all about living things. If we want to make the living things growing, we need time. The only things that we cannot control is the time. So on top of this one, we can control everything. We can control how the plants consume the water, the nutrients, the sunlight. Even today, some of the plants that I grow in my farm is with artificial light. Okay, we control, we see how the, the light spectrum that's suitable for the plant to grow. And then we try to make it into the LED. Okay, and after that, from that side, we can make sure that the plant is growing or, or growing optimally. So how it can be growing optimally is because, uh, for example, okay, if let's say, uh, growing a sun, okay, a kid's sun, a kid, if let's say a kid, no matter how much you give the kids to eat, one year is still one year, okay? The kid at most somehow like this tall, but it will not be like very, very tall, okay? So they will have this optimum. You need to know what is the optimum so that you can make your resources safe, okay? So from here, you can, when we are uh, growing plants, we will make sure that the plant is living in an optimum environment. Okay, so one of the examples that I can give you is, uh, if let's say a hypothesis, okay, they will always say the plants will do uh, hypothesis in the day, the daytime. Okay, so why daytime? Because daytime we have sunlight. Okay, somehow in Malaysia, because we are always raining, and sometimes it's still cloudy, so the plant is not growing optimally. Okay, so we want to let the plants to grow optimally. We put them in indoor. We put them in indoor, and then we put artificial light. Let the artificial light to represent the sunlight when the sunlight is not around. Okay, so what I do is uh, I work together with a grocery shop, and then the grocery shop outside is something like this one, glasses. So during the night time. They will turn on the they will turn on the artificial lights. Then you can see very purple color outside. So people from the roadside they will they will always get a track and they will come in and drop by to see the plants where I grow in a grocery shop. Okay. So on top of this one, uh, I'm about to end. Anyone have any questions? Okay. So if let's say you don't have any questions, uh, I would like to end it with my uh, the last things that I would like to share with you. Okay. If let's say you are planning to run a business, okay, remember, uh, always go with something that you are affordable. Okay. You don't see something that's very trendy and you just go for it. Go with something that is needed by your customers. Okay. If let's say, uh, example, if let's say you are selling a coffee. Okay, who will buy coffee from you? Okay, if let's say it's a packaging coffee where you can you can ship outside your community area, okay, then you can go online. If let's say you are just selling a, a instant coffee in a cup, then you should target the people around you, okay? Because of, no one from Smaranjo will buy your cup of coffee from Kuchin, right? Okay, they will not ask you to ship, no matter how delicious, okay? Okay, no matter how delicious or how cheap or even how worth, they will not ship one cup of coffee from here to Semenanjung. Okay? Same, even from Borneo, they will not ship your cup of coffee from here to Bintulu. Okay? So you need to know your cup of coffee is sell within Kuching or just within this Borneo 7 Okay? You need to know that. Then only you can do, you can implement the right technology. Okay? So the right technology is not like today I tell you everyone needs social media. But you are selling your cup of coffee within your uh, this community area. And why you need a social media? Okay, you need to know the reason behind. I need a social media because I plan to grow. Okay? I plan to not just stay in this community area. I plan to later on I want to I want to get a, after I get a budget, I want to get a, a coffee car, where this coffee car can go around in this coaching. Okay, then what you need? You need it to be viral. 
When you need it to be viral, you need social media. Okay? You need to know the reason behind of you when we implement all the technology. Alright? Alright, thank you very much. This is not the last, uh, we come to uh, B704, we might come again.